I'm David, a PhD student at Tel Aviv University. I'm going to be presenting our work on assembling plasmids in metagenomes. Uh, this is joint work with the Mizrahi Lab at Ben Gurion University, and it was recently published in BMC Microbiome. I'll also be presenting this work at the Microbiome Track on Thursday at 2.20. Um, so I'll start off with a little bit of background about plasmids. Plasmids are mobile genetic elements. They uh, contain genes which sometimes could encode antibiotic resistance or other fitness conferring uh, functions which uh, improve the fitness of their host bacteria. So that's one of the main re clinical reasons people are interested in them. And um, plasmids also can be transferred among individual bacteria within a population. Um, so here we're working on assembling plasmid sequences from metagenomic samples and we try to improve on the existing tools. One is called Recycler that came out of our lab a number of years ago, and one's called Metaplasmid Spades. It's a version of spades for assembling plasmids from metagenomes. So here's a graphical overview of the methods. Um, we, have a, we start with a metagenomic assembly graph built by a standard assembly tool. We annotate it with the locations of the reads, um, a machine learning based sequence classifier, and the presence of plasmid-specific genes from a large database that we've curated. In the annotated assembly graph, we look for uniformly covered cycles and in an iterative process, peel off um, the coverage of those cycles from the graph. Each of those cycles is considered to be a potential plasmid. And then we um, basically try to filter out the false positives from the set of potential plasmids in order to retain only true assembled plasmids. Now I want to look at some of our results on real data. So the first data set that, I, that uh, we tested on was a publicly available set of human gut microbiomes. Um, and here I'm looking for the ability of each of the tools to reconstruct known plasmids from the sample. So here the samples are sorted by the number of known plasmids which appear in each sample. That's on the axis on the right. Um, and it's shown in the dotted line. The F1 score, which is a combination of the precision and the recall, for each of the tools is shown in the bars. SCAP is in blue, and as we see in, in many of the cases, SCAP is, performs the best, and especially in the larger samples. Next, we looked at a human gut plasmidome. So this is a microbiome sample that we've enriched for plasmids uh, and then sequenced. And in this case, we see again that SCAP has the highest F1 score. So the precision and the recall of uh, measuring its ability to reconstruct known plasmids. Um, is the best. Finally, we um, tested on a parallel data set that, we've, that we constructed where we have the metagenome of a cow rumen uh, sample. And from the same sample, we also have the plasmidome. So it's the plasmid enriched metagenome. Uh, and then we use the reads from the plasmidome in order to uh, evaluate the, the ability of each of the tools to uh, assemble plasmids from the metagenome. And in this case too, we see that uh, the performance of SCAP and MP space is similar. SCAP has the highest precision and slightly lower recall than the other tools. Um, when we look at the functions of the genes that were in the plasmids we discovered in our, in our plasmidomes, uh, we see that almost all of them are annotated with functions that could be plasmid specific. Um, and what that means is that we have a high likelihood of actually assembling true plasmids, including, um, as you can see, some novel anti antibiotic resistance uh, gene plasmids. So in conclusion, SCAP outperformed the other existing tools and it found uh, true plasmids with novel um, clinical relevance. You can find more information at my talk or in the, uh, in the paper. Thank you and uh, I'm happy to present the poster in person.